Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping back by my channel. This is Simply Kiwi. I'm coming today um, doing this first time nail art. It is called Fluid Nail Art where you use polish that's wet. Um, so this is what I've done today and I'm going to show you the items that I've used. Uh, first off, I'm of course using Beauty Secrets Rich Filler as my base. Then I'm using a polish from China Glaze. It is called Queens of Sequence. Beautiful color. I'm also using Kiss Gel Feminine. Kiss Gel Narcissism. This silver polish called Silky Silver. And this white from Funky Fingers, which is just called Gesso. And I'll seal it off with Sesh Feet. And if you can see on my index and ring finger, I'm using those as my accent nails and I've put some uh, gold studs or, or some um, jewels on the ring on the nail just to give it a little pizzazz. So let's get started. I'm also going to be using just a plastic lid as my palette. So let me go ahead and get the polishes open. I'm going to start off with, let me get them open first. So what I'm going to use first is the China Glaze. And I saw this on um, Keon Lee's page on YouTube and um, I thought this was a better way of doing it. So I'm going to put some drops, some generous sized drops down. I might not be doing it exactly how she did it but and kind of put the drops on top of each other to have like a large pool here. So I'm putting about four good drops each time of the colors. doesn't have to be so super neat and, and nice but just kind of pull them in and as you can see this silver kind of sinks into the polish but that's okay and one more round we get the china glaze first and this should be enough for my two nails that I've that I've set aside for this tutorial. I've always wanted to try it. Um, I tried practicing a bit and sometimes it didn't come out so well but I said I'm just going to bite the bullet and try and see how it turns out. I didn't do too bad. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm okay with it. I hope you guys like it too. And the silver. I'm going to kind of drag that in. Like I said, it doesn't have to be super perfect. And like I said, let me close up my bottles because I can be a bit of a klutz sometimes. And I don't want to have a mess to have to clean up. 
and it's getting late. So I'm just going to be using a brush. This brush I've got in like a, um, I think I've got it off of eBay in a series of brushes. Um, but um, of course I've already used it so it's not super duper clean. But I'm going to use this to do the uh, tutorial. So I'm going to back this up a little bit. Let's see, I'm going to get a corner here. And just kind of, kind of dab it on. And just kind of wiggle it around. I'm also using an orange stick if I make a mess to clean off the edges here. And I'm just looking out for camera just to see if I got any places I need to adjust just a little bit around the edges here where I couldn't see. I can be a bit visually challenged at times. And that didn't turn out too badly. Okay, let me go ahead and start with the ring finger. And I'm going to take my brush and clean it off over here onto the side. I'm dipping it in some acetone and just tapping it on the uh, paper towel so I can have a cleaner surface and start with the next nail. Get a little bit of that white or that silver. Again, I'm just getting, make sure I'm getting it down to the ends or the tips of my nail. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add, um, since uh, this is still wet, I'm just going to add, I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to come back and put the rhinestones on. But I'm going to let it dry a little bit. I'm going to put the sash feet on. And then I'm going to put the jewels on so you'll see the finished look and I'll be right back I'm back guys and um, 
it's pretty dry it's not dr super super duper dry because I put a little bit too much on my ring finger as I was doing the art and still a little bit tacky but I'm gonna go ahead and finish the video I'm gonna put just a little bit of the sesh feet right here so I can do my um, jewels on there and I'm going to go ahead and get my orange stick to pick that up. I'm just going to put it in the center here and then another one right underneath it. Just to, just to change it up a little bit. But that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to seal it off again with the coat of Sesh Feet. And that's pretty much it guys and um, pretty simple manicure it turned out pretty well um, it's not perfect but I think it turned out okay for my for it being my first time doing it thanks again to Keong Ke Lee I'm sorry I don't mean to mess your name up um, for showing us showing me that technique and I wanted to try it out and I want to thank you guys again for stopping by. And until next time, thank you again. Be blessed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>